Okay, as some of you know, I run a handyman business, and I post my ad on Craigslist as well as Google Ads and Facebook Ads, which at this point seem to be useless and just a waste of my money. I'm pretty sure these texts I'm getting are from scumbags that are on Craigslist. They get my number off of there, they see my ad. I'm sure I'm not the only one they do it to. This one came in in January. The reason why I'm making this video is because I see a pattern. Because I got a text message, similar situation. Very similar. I just want to show you the text here so you can see it for yourself. I'm not going to read it all, I'll read some of it. It says, hello, my name is Andrew. Do you offer a wooden door install service and do you accept checks? And then I asked, is it interior or exterior? Because I have no idea. They didn't send any pictures. Then it says, I need an exterior and interior wooden door installed. I have made an order for the doors. So how much are you charging to remove the old doors and install the new ones? With frames and painting. Now look at that. I mean... What the hell happened there? That's just crazy. Look at that. Looks like somebody tried to break in the house, I guess. That's the exterior door there. Looks like it's an apartment. I don't know where they find these pictures. You know, so I was just curious. And I said, so I said, oh man, you had a break in? Will you supply the paint? And then they just said, yes, I will, which is kind of odd. You'd think they would have responded. Yeah, you know, this, these crazy tenants, they, whatever, they were drunk, or, you know, they would have made up some crazy story. But they didn't say anything, which I thought was odd. So I said, did you order pre-hung doors? They said yes. I said, I need caulking. And I figured... I don't remember why, but I came up with the price of two fifty for that job. So that's what I was gonna charge them. And then they said, Okay, that sounds fine. I'll be paying through a check of four hundred as upfront payment. So once it goes through you can start the job as the keys would be in the mailbox. So kindly and eh one thing I learned a lot of these scammers, this gets out, they might stop doing it, but as of now, they use the word kindly a lot, which most people I deal with over here, you know, in the U.S., they never text that word kindly, so it's odd when I see that. I think of a foreigner when I see that, and I don't know where these people are. But a lot of them seem to be in India. So I'm going to say that's probably where they are. So I asked for 250 and they're going to send me a check for 400 which makes no sense at all. Now I don't have a problem taking checks. The only problem I would have is if the check didn't go through. It bounced, as they call it. Which I haven't experienced. said, I don't give out my address, but you can mail the check to your property and I'll pick it up. And then I figured they were a scammer, so I texted back, well, like, hello, they didn't respond again. Here is another one. This is the one I got yesterday, as you can see, the 14th, and I'm, I will be uploading this video today, so as soon as I'm done recording it, I'm going to be editing it and then getting it on YouTube. Because so this, this is important that people know about these scams, because I'm sick of it. This is so ridiculous. I'm trying to make a living. And, you know, for a while I think this is actually going to be a job I can do. And then I find out once they get more into it, wait a minute, this sounds familiar like the one from January. And then that's exactly what it is. It says, hello, how are you doing? My name is Donald Barry, which I thought is odd because I learned a lot of scammers. I don't know why they do it. But they will put a first name as a last name as well, which usually does not occur. Most people I've heard of do not have a first name as a last name. I don't know how they screw that up. I think I heard it was the people in 
India, the scammers, they they use a last name, or they use a first name as a last name. For some reason. So it says, hello, how are you doing? My name is Donald Barry. Please do you offer door installation service and also accept check as mode of payment. Eh, sounds just like the other one, doesn't it? So I said the same thing, interior, exterior. And then they send similar pictures, see? The door is damaged really bad. This one here, it looks like, that looks like blood. I don't know if it's gonna, I don't know if you can see that on the video, but right up here, that looks like blood. So wherever they got these pictures from was some kind of a fight. It says, okay, I want to, it says, okay, I want change right there. What's up with that? It should say, I want to change. I want change three interior hollow core door in my house. Most people wouldn't say that. They just say, I want to change three interior bedroom doors in my house. Something like that. 36 by 80. At least they got that right. That's a typical size in a house. And install new door and paint them. I will supply the materials. How much do you charge roughly? As labor cost per door installation and painting. I can see they're being a little more sophisticated with their scam here. I said make sure you get them with the doorknob cut out. Because it's a pain to cut that out. And then they like that comment. This part I'm going to take out because it shows my location. Nobody on YouTube needs to know where I live. So I said... And that's, they said, they asked if I'm in the city that I live in, which is kind of stupid because on my ad, it shows the areas I cover. And I, if I remember right, I have that city listed on there. It's because they didn't read. They just went there and went right to the phone number. And I was working yesterday too, so I didn't respond right away. It says, how much do you charge as labor cost to install all the three doors and paint it? Please text. Please did you get my text. Just paint the doors of the frame as well. I want you to remove the old doors and install new doors then paint it. So I said 250. They said 250 per door, right? 250 per door or for the doors. That is per door. Then they said please did you get my text. It's, it was making me think that they for some reason the texts weren't going through. <clears throat> so I said no I didn't. They said, okay, good. I've already placed an order for the door. Sounds familiar, just like the other one. But I still need to balance them so that they will be, so that they can be delivered to the house. Can you start the project next Monday at 11? Balance them? That makes no sense. I don't know. So I said, what do you mean balance? I can do Monday. And it says, I'm yet to balance the door suppliers. So that's why I prefer next week. Monday, 11 a.m. Let me know if that works. I said, that's fine, keep me posted. Okay, good, can I text you my address now? Sure. Then they said it again, sent it again, I don't know why. I looked it up and it appears to be some kind of house. I'm surprised they sent an address this time. And then here's where the stupid nonsense starts. Okay, sounds good, but I'm out of the state now. Additionally, I'll mail you a check through USPS for the full payment. Once you deposit the check clears, it should say once you deposit and the check clears in your account, you can start the work. My housekeeper will be there on the day of the job to let you access the work areas. If that's alright with you, kindly let me know. There's the kindly again. And they don't know how to use proper grammar. I'm not even a grammar expert. I'm sure I probably suck at grammar, but I can see that there's flaws in the in the, the way they're typing words. I said, okay, mail it to your home and I'll pick it up Monday. My housekeeper can't handle check. What does that have to do with anything? They're legitimate. They can mail a check to their house and I'll go pick it up. What's the big deal? And then it says, and for security reason, I prefer to mail the check to your address so you can deposit it immediately once you receive it. Now, the only reason I can think of, I couldn't find anything on YouTube or anywhere about what about this particular scam, but the only reason I can think of they want your address is because if you give them your address, they're gonna come and rob your ass. That's what I think. I, I don't know what else it could be. If anybody 
knows or is, is, has experienced uh, these kind of texts, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any idea what exactly their motives are with this type of scam, let me know because I'd like to understand this better. So I just said, I don't give out my address, it's not a big deal, you can notify me when it arrives, in mail, at the property, and I'll come pick it up. And then, see, no response, they stopped, because they know I'm not going to go for their scam. So I don't know what that is, that's it for that. Then I got this other one that's texting me, trying to get me to go on Telegram. I don't know what's on Telegram. I guess they're going to ask me for money. And I know it's encrypted, like WhatsApp, so nobody can see what we're saying. But they're actually naive because anybody can take screenshots of the whole chat. And then they can show it to anybody they need to show it to. Anyway, that's it for the video. This video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the notification bell. If you have any suggestions for future videos, leave a comment.